Directed by the terrorists at the top. And as I heard Lynn Stewart say in one of the visits, she feels almost fortunate being in jail because the young man who told the truth on WikiLeaks is being hunted and his life is at stake. We see that the people who are involved in that media are hiding for their life. And Lynn says, I'm just in jail for Chuck telling the truth. And so it shows it affects not only Lynn Stewart, all of jail. lawyers, judges, media workers, and people who would like to work for a living. People who would like to be able to go to a hospital. People who would like to be able to afford their medication. Uh, please call in if you have any money. This is the end. This is the end game. It is the end game for many of us. But it is in the, in the boxing of Parliament. If you see the punch coming, it doesn't knock you out. It can hurt you, but it doesn't knock you out. Listening to Taking Aim, DAI, you can see the punch that's coming. It will hurt you, but it's the difference in being hurt and being knocked out. You will know it's coming, but you have to have the, the, the punch forecast for you. This program does it. But then you can do something about it, and as we say, this is not a spectator sport. Each and every one of us uses the information that we present to you on Taking Aim to strengthen ourselves, to arm ourselves with the information to be more effective organizers. And brothers and sisters, don't kid yourself. The terrorist at the top is worried. We received an email today from one of our constant listeners and supporters, Cheryl Chavez. Barack Obama has operatives placed in black churches, and when they hear something critical of Obama, the pastor gets a call from the State Department. Hey, brothers and sisters, down at the grassroots, the folks see what Ob Barack Obama represents, the false hope and the short change, and the rulers at the top are worried. And let's make them more worried, brothers and sisters. Let's mobilize, let's support free speech radio, let's keep the truth coming. Let's get these people on the run because this handful of criminals that is uh, that are terrorizing the peoples of the world from Iraq to Afghanistan to the United States itself to the targeting of Lynn Stewart, they are in our sights, brothers and sisters, the sights of the many, the sights of the oppressed, the sights of the vast majority of our working poor. Wow. Let's keep that support coming for the information and the documentation and the programming and the mobilizing and for the struggles ahead. Please, brothers and sisters. And don't worry about having copies of, of these uh, bits of information. I have them all. Hey, I keep ordering them, and I give them away as gifts. They are so valuable. You can listen to them over and over again. And each time you listen, you'll pick up something new. And I like to have all of my friends with these gifts. So keep calling. Uh, have ten of them. And then Christmas, you will have your Christmas shopping done. 212-209-2950. That sounds yes, rather... Birds at the end, so please, there are only three more minutes left to this program. Get on the phone. As Ralph said, 212-209-2950. Credit cards, a bank debit cards, checks, money orders, cash. 212-209-2950. People in the pledge room ready to take your call for your $75 donation and your membership in WBAI. People, brothers and sisters, do not think, do not take for granted that we're here week after week without yeah, your support. Yeah. It is your yeah. support that keeps this program on the air and oh, coming to yeah. you week after week. Oh, and yeah. brothers and sisters, in a report Friday, the federal special master, Kenneth Feinberg, the master of TARP, appointed by Barack Obama, the 17 largest financial firms received billions of dollars in bonus and retention payments to their top executives during the very period when they were being bailed out with almost 24 trillion dollars. Claiming that Feinberg, Congress didn't give him the power to do anything about it. Feinberg did not even do that. He did not name any of the executives who received the payments, nor the institutions that were awarded the bonanzas. Who are the 17 banks that got billions of bonuses for the executives while trillions of dollars were going to the banks themselves? 
AIG, American Express, Bank of America, Bank of New York, CIA. Mellon, Post, Boston Private, Capital One Financial, Citigroup, the CIT Group, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, M&T Bank, Morgan Stanley, PNC Financial Regions, Financial Sun Trust, Best. U.S. Bank Corps, and Wells Fargo. Wall Street Journal, undisguised gloating. And this is the very group, the 17 bankers with their billions in bonuses, which are handouts to the executives who are raping us all. These are the people who funded Barack Obama. President Secretary, Secretary Timothy Geithner, appearing on Sunday morning interview programs, endorsed Feinberg's statement that, quote, he has no authority to halt the bo uh, bonus payments, noting that the Barack Obama administration insisted that Congress not enact any binding restriction on executive pay and bonuses. The pay czar was impotent because Obama ordered it that way, brothers and sisters. Van Ralph, as we heard today on Taking Aim in the excerpt from Barack Obama at the service of corporate and finance capital, he was vetted by the banksters and he was selected by the banksters because they knew he would do their bidding. I'm going to take a page. I'm going to two zero nine two nine five zero. I'm going to take a page from the movie Shane. We want you to stay and call in. We want this station to stay. We love you, Lynn. Send to two one two two zero nine two nine five zero. Hear our plea. Send that you? money because without the money, there is no program. Do you like Shane? Do you like Lynn? Do you like Ralph? Do you like Maya? Do you like what you hear on this program? Support it. 212-209-2950. Or we will dance off into the sunset. And then where will we be? Well, where well, thanks are we so now? much. And brothers and sisters, keep, that, keep, uh, keep on keeping on. As Maya says, it's not a spectator sport. We are in this together, brothers and sisters. We are the many, they are the few. Their criminal system is making victims of us all. Masses of people are grasping that reality. The events support our analysis. History is on our side. Keep up the struggle. Now we do hope you called. We weren't able to hear the phones ringing. Uh, we hope to hear from the pledge room that you did call, that you support taking aim, that you support WBAI, and that you consider Barack Obama false hope and short change one of the most significant information sources that has been produced at WBAI, and it is a must-have. $75 contribution, 212-209-2950. I want to thank Michael G. Haskins for engineering. I want to take this moment to thank Mark Silk, our loyal and devoted webmaster, who brings and maintains our archive, and Michael Yoshida at KPFA for engineering our show each and every week. Uh, All right, thanks very much. Ralph Schoenman and Maya Schoen out there on the coast, Ralph Pointer here in the studio. Thank you so much for those calls that are coming in right now. 212 dollars We will send you the MP3 by Ralph Showman and Maya Schoen. Barack Obama, false hope and short change. We'd like to thank the Texas Rotisserie Grill at 94 Fulton Street and the Whole Foods in Tribeca. Thank you very much for that piece of information. Four calls coming in right now as we approach the top of the hour. 212-209-2950 is the number to call. We thank you, we thank you, thank you. Ralph still in the studio with me. Um, we have uh, three calls, Ralph. The uh, phones were ringing throughout the uh, afternoon, throughout this this time. Um, so you've been very, very effective along with Ralph and Maya. We thank you and we'll look forward to your continuing updates of Lynn Stewart. Thank you again.